Welcome to another episode of my Refactoring Java video series. This time I want to show you how to move an embellishment to a decorator. The following class is an in-memory book repository. It is a very simple repository that stores books in a hash map. A book consists of a title and an author. When you add a book to the repository, you need to provide an ISBN and the book. And it will just put the book into the hash map. You can then find the books by the author by providing the author as a string. And it will loop over all the books in the hash map and return those that equals the author. But what is that? There is some by authors cache. So there is some caching going on. So when you add a book, the cache is cleared. And when you find books by author, it first looks into the cache. And when it's found in the cache, the entries from the cache are returned. If not, it will search the repository and also put the found results into the cache. The caching is not really the concern of this repository and I want to make the code say that. So what I want to do is first I want to extract the parts of the code that did the actual handling of the book repository. So this would be the adding of the book to the repository. And also the finding of the books. As a result, I am able to extract those methods to a delegate class that would be the actual book repository. I will select the methods that I extracted and the books. And I will call it actual book repository. Now these methods are unused and I can delete them. The code that is left in this class is just handling the actual caching. So I would like to rename this class to a caching book repository decorator. For the actual book repository, I want to rename it to the in-memory book repository. This class is now only concerned with the books and not with the cache. So let me rename these methods to what they have been. Now if you compare the two, you can see that the interface is exactly the same. So I can extract a common interface. I can make the in-memory book repository implement the same interface.
and the tests still pass. You could rename this to decorated or just book repository, whatever you like. If you refactored it to use more Java generics and make it more reusable, probably it would be best to call it decorated. Now the decorator should not care what kind of implementation of the book repository interface this is. So I will change the type to book repository. Now I would like to move the initialization of this field to the constructor and I should be able to pass this as a parameter and it should be of type book repository. As a result I have a common interface, the book repository and I have two implementations, the caching decorator that only cares about the caching, the cross-cutting concern, and the in-memory book repository that handles the actual persistence of the books. And if I needed them both combined, I'm gonna check the test, which now shows how to initialize the book repository with cache. If I didn't need the cache, I could just go with the in-memory book repository. Decorators plug into each other nicely as they share a common interface. And keep in mind that by using Java generics you can probably gain more reusability. You could make some generic decorator or some generic interface and then do a generic cache decorator or logging or whatever. And this was the moving of an embellishment to a decorator refactoring. I hope you enjoyed the video. The code is available on my GitHub. You can find the link in the description. Try it yourself and tell me what you did. Thanks for watching.